इसी 2023 जहां हमें देखने को मिली ढेर सारी फ्यूचर टेक्नोलॉजी और इसी टेक्नोलॉजी इवेंट पे हमें मीरेटेक का बूथ भी दिखा और आज के इस वीडियो में मैं आपको मीरेटेक के इस बूथ पे ले जाऊंगा और उनकी नई इनोवेशन से रूबरू कराऊंगा इसके साथ साथ फिन बार से भी इंट्रैक्ट करूंगा और उनकी जुबानी आपको बताऊंगा कि मीरेटेक फ्यूचर में किन नई इनोवेशन को पेश करने वाला है तो चलिए बिना किस देर के इस वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं अनुज हम फाइनली आई एम मीडेक के इस बूथ पे और मैंने कई सारी इनोवेशन यहाँ पे देखी है बट मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप हमारे यूजर्स को बताएं कि मीडेटेक एमडब्ल्यू सी के इस मंच पे क्या नया लेके आया है थैंक यू केशव हमारे बूथ पे आने के लिए और बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं जो आज हम आपके लिए और आपके यूजर्स के लिए लाए हैं यहाँ पे अगर मैं बात करूँ मीडाटेक की मीडाटेक का जो हमारा डायमेंसिटी बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो है स्मार्टफोन बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग डायमेंसिटी नाइन प्लस जो एक फ्लैगशिप सीरीज के फोन है वो लॉन्च हुए हैं बिलेटी में टेक्नो ने वी फोर लॉन्च किया है जिसका होता है मीरा टेक डायमेंस नाइन थाउजेंड प्लस बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग फोन है और फ्लिप लॉन्च हुआ था थोड़ा टाइम पहले ओप्पो का वो भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट है सिमिलरली वन प्लस ने टैब लॉन्च किया था विच इज अगेन पावर बैन डायमेंस डी नाइन थाउजेंड सो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग इनोवेशन है बहुत अच्छे इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट्स हैं अगर मैं बात करूँ हमारे कंप्लीट प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो की तो हमारा एक जेन्यू बेस्ड प्लेटफॉर्म है जिसके बारे में आप और यूजर्स आई एम श्योर जानते होंगे बट बहुत बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग एप्लीकेशन है जैसे कि हमारा स्मार्ट माइक्रोवेव है माइक्रोवेव तो सबके पास होते हैं पर ये माइक्रोवेव के अंदर आप खाना देख भी सकते हो बनते हुए वहाँ कौन से कंट्रोल कर सकते हो माइक्रोवेव का स्मार्ट है ये वाला ये जो हमारी जो आई ओ टी बेस्ड जीनियो प्रोडक्ट जो जिसके से ये बना हुआ है वो ये देख सकता है कि किस तरह का फूड अंदर है उसके कितना टाइम लगेगा सो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सो मतलब मीरा टेक का चिप जो है वो खाली टेक्नोलॉजी में नहीं है वो खाने में भी आप देख सकते हैं अनुज मैंने यहाँ पे एक टेक्नोलॉजी और भी देखी है जो कि बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग मुझे लगी बेसिकली वो क्या करता है मेरे चेहरे को स्कैन किया उसने और वो मेरा यू नो ऑक्सीजन मीटर हार्ट सेंस हार्ट रेट और यू नो मूड्स और हर एक चीज को स्कैन करके मुझे प्रेजेंट कर रहा था तो बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट है ये हमारे पास मेरे का गेन यू नो हमारा आई इनोवेशन का प्रोडक्ट है जिससे आप कितने सारे बॉडी के पैरामीटर जो है खड़े खड़े वो आपको कैमरा से में देखने के बाद ही आपका देख के मेजर करता है जैसे आपने बोला कि बॉडी टेम्परेचर ब्लड रेट आपका हार्ट रेट और ओवरऑल आपका मूड कैसा है फिर ओवरऑल आपकी हेल्थ कैसी है तो इस तरह का एक इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट है मीरा के पास जो आप जल्दी देखेंगे मार्केट के अंदर जो कमर्शियली अवेलेबल होगा वाह अनुज बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग डिवाइस है तो अनुज से हमने जान लिया लेकिन हम फिन के पास चलते हैं और जानते हैं कि इस मंच पे क्या नया है Hi Finn, thank you so much for joining us at 91 Mobiles. So uh, Finn, uh, MWC is known for showcasing the glimpse of the future. Yeah. Right. Uh, what is the futuristic technology that we can see at Meerdex booth? I think we're probably focused on a few areas. Um, we're demonstrating obviously our flagship uh, mobile SoCs. So the latest one is the Dimensity 9200. You'll see a number of devices from our flagship range uh, from our customers. You'll see some of the camera, gaming, video technologies that are integrated into that. So that's one area that's right. been a big focus for us this year. Um, I think the other area that's been a lot of interest this week is our solutions for satellite communication. So actually connecting uh, through satellite. Right. So we've got uh, existing solutions that can give you two-way messaging capability over satellite. Okay. Some of our partners are beginning to launch devices with, okay. with our solution. And I would say the third area I would point out maybe is we're also demonstrating our next generation Wi-Fi 7 solutions. Which is going to take Wi-Fi connectivity above like 10 gigabits per second. Right. Also, Miratech has been doing a lot of innovations uh, in the camera segment yeah. with the Imagic uh, technology. Yeah. Yeah. What else in the future can we see and can we expect from Miratech? Yeah, great question. I mean, obviously, the camera has been a huge area of innovation over the last couple of years in, in mobile, and I think we're going to see that continue. Right. Um, I think the stuff that I'm kind of excited about is we've obviously seen um, a lot of capability in terms of the megapixels and the camera. A lot of use of AI technology to improve things like low light conditions, to do some beautification, to do some bokeh effects, to do some uh, tracking effects. And I think a lot of that in the early days was focused on like the still image, like the camera shot capture. But with the 90, the Dimensity 9200, we've also been very focused on implementing very low power AI capability. All right. So we can apply a lot of the same effects now to video as well. All right. So obviously, video is much more power demanding than just taking a single shot because you're taking a, 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 a long series of, of events. So I think we'll see more innovation in the use of AI to video as well as to the still camera going forward. Right. Also, uh, in in terms of camera, you have gone far up to 300 megapixel. Yeah. 
uh, what uh, in future can we see in the megapixel count? Oh, I'm sure I'm sure we're going to see that go even higher as well over time. But I think you know at some point it it, it doesn't make that much sense anymore. So I think what we're beginning to see now is more innovation in the sensor types. The, the, uh, the design of the actual sensors, right? Um, obviously, the use of multiple sensors and multiple multiple camera inputs, uh, parallel parallel processing of those camera inputs to improve the overall image quality. You know, a lot of focus on low light conditions like nighttime and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm sure the the megapixel stuff will continue, maybe not as quickly as it's been done in the past. Right. But we'll, we'll continue to see like use case innovations. I mean. All right. If we talk about India, yeah. India market, we are seeing a lot of, uh, you know, technological shifts in Indian market. Yeah, big, big uh, what is the role uh, of Minitech in this? So yeah, I think this year is going to be a very interesting year in, in the Indian market, right? So obviously 5G is becoming a big factor in the Indian market, right, since late last year. I mean, obviously we saw a lot of 5G phones already sold in India in 2021, 2022, as people were kind of anticipating the rollout of the 5G networks. But I think this year is going to be really the transformative year where we see a big shift. And I think we expect that a lot of the growth in 5G this year is going to come from the Indian market, so we see that transition happening. I think that's going to be very interesting because inevitably as phones move from 4G to 5G, we, we tend to go to more higher capability chipsets. Right? Right. So there'll be higher capabilities for gaming, for graphics, Absolutely. for video, for audio. So I think it'll bring an even richer experience to, to consumers in India. And even beyond that, I think we're looking at a lot of opportunity in beyond smartphone 5G applications in India. I so I, I'll take one question uh, regarding the AI. Yeah. Uh, you know, from, from buzzword, to a common term, AI is spread across all oh, yeah. over the globe, right? Uh, you know, how can we see uh, MediaTek and AI in future? What are the uh, benefits that a smartphone and other devices can get from AI? Oh yeah, I, I, I think we're just at the start of it, as you can as you can see. But AI is starting to touch everything we do. Like we're using AI technology internally in our development and our operations to help make our company more efficient. Uh, that's something that even our consumers or customers don't see. Right. But as you know, like we're also integrating AI more and more, not just into our smartphone platforms, but also into our Chromebook platforms, into our tablet platforms, into our home platforms, into our TV platforms, touching all kinds of capabilities. Um, super resolution, upscaling, picture quality enhancements, you know, audio. I think we're just at the start of it. Obviously, there's a lot of focus these days on the so-called generative AI or generative Absolutely. content. You know, that's going to start appearing, I think, more and more in some of these mobile platforms um, going forward as well. So you just spoke about Chromebooks, right? Chromebooks are powered by Minitex Companion chipset. If you talk about Chromebook in India, the growth is very slow. Yeah. Uh, could you explain uh, what is the reason behind it? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I mean, you said the growth is slow. I would see that as an opportunity for future growth, maybe. Right. But I think, yes, the Chromebooks are an interesting category. And I think they've gone through explosive growth over the last three to four years. A lot of it, I think, driven by the pandemic and people working at home, educating their children at home. Um, and we saw a lot of success over the last couple of years. Like MediaTek is the number one ARM vessels, ARM SOC provider into the into the Chromebook space. We're very excited about the opportunity that Chromebooks uh, will continue. Um, I think for sure the first wave of success for us was in the education segment. But we now have mid-range and high-tier products for the Campagno line as well that will power very high-performance notebooks that use Chromebooks. So I can see opportunities, not just in education, which may have been like slow in India right now, but also in the consumer and the enterprise markets going forward for you know all of the benefits that Chromebook can bring in terms of the cloud-based, security, all that kind right. of stuff. Uh, long battery life because of the ARM-based companion products that MediaTek provides. So I think, you know, as we look over the longer term, I think there will be more opportunity for growth in the Indian market. I hope. Thank you, Finn, for giving us the time. I'm so glad that you explained everything about it. That's great. Thank you. See great, you again. Great to be with you. Thanks yeah. again for coming. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. So guys, this was all about MediaTek at MWC. 2023. आपने देखा कि कैसे मीडिया ने अपने इस बूथ पे अलग अलग तरीके की इनोवेशन शो केस की है जिससे साबित होता है कि मीडिया टेक आने वाले समय में टेक्नोलॉजी की दुनिया में अपने आप को और भी इम्प्रूव करेगा और हमें फ्यूचर में कई सारी इनोवेशन भी देखने को मिल जाएंगी बट एनी वे कैसे लगा आपको वीडियो प्लीज कॉन्ट बॉक्स में लिख के बताएं और हमेशा की तरह ये वीडियो आपको पसंद आए तो लाइक करें शेयर करें और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना बिल्कुल ना भूलें अंटिल देन दिस इज केशव खेरा साइनिंग ऑफ